Welcome back everybody and can you believe it? It is already day four of our holiday club. Let's have a quick recap. Can you remember all of our superheroes? Day one we had David, day two we had Josiah and day three we had Martha and we also looked a little bit about Mary. I wonder if you've managed to remember all those lessons that you've been learning as we've gone along about how to be a really awesome superhero. We are going to be looking at a new superhero for today and he's a superhero who is with all of us who accept Jesus into our hearts. But before we get that far, we are going to sing it again. I'm going to sing the song we did yesterday, God's love is big, God's love is great. So let's worship together. I don't know about you, but I am definitely ready for the rest of my day now. 
It's so great to be active with God in that way first thing in the morning. It really sets me up well for the rest of today. So let's get straight on to our clue box then and see who our fourth superhero is going to be. Are we ready? Ooh. Clue number one, I'm going to a little bit closer to you. Can you see? It says happy birthday across the top and it says celebrate and it's got balloons on it. So it's a sort of um, party bunting. So maybe we're going to have a party. Do you like parties? Oh, I wonder if you've been to any great birthday parties recently. Or maybe you've missed it in the pandemic and you're having another one soon. I know lots of people that are doing that. <gasps> Number two, if we are having a party, this is brilliant. I love bubbles. I've actually put some bubbles in your packs for tomorrow to help with your prayers. But I'm just going to blow some now because I just can't resist. There's something so magical about bubbles. I wonder if you like chasing bubbles. I wonder if you find them really calming or you love when getting in a tizzy following them around. Wonderful. Yeah. Oh. Can you see this one? Got a windmill. Oh, that goes around really well. Hmm, interesting. So we've had bubbles, we've had a windmill, we've got some party bunting with balloons on. This is happy birthday. Let's see what else I've got. Oh, thinking of wind. I've got something else. I've got oh, a little tangle. There we go. I've got a wind chime. I wonder if you've got a wind chime at home or if you've seen one before. I like the idea of them, but I'm not sure that I would want it outside my window all night because I think it might keep me awake. else have we got? Oh, this isn't wind. I wonder if you can work out what these are. We've got what looked like tongues of fire. Yeah. I wonder if that has given some of you a clue as to who you're talking about today. And I think it might well have done. So we've got wind and we've got fire. There is something else in my box. <gasps> it's a gift. It's a gift. So today our character, our superhero, must be a gift to us. Okay, well that's all of your clues. I wonder if you worked out who it is. Shove it up together and see if you were right. Today we are going to think about the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit then is a part of God. He is sent by Jesus as a helper to all of us and that is truly wonderful. For all those who believe in Jesus we can receive the gift of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit can bring us all sorts of things like love and joy and peace. He can also help us when we are feeling scared. So earlier in the week when we talked about David needing to be brave and having courage, well the Holy Spirit can help us with that too. He can help us when making decisions and when we want to grow in our relationship with Jesus and God the Father. In our story today we are going to be thinking about the Holy Spirit and we're going to be thinking about specifically the time that he was given to the disciples. So at this point in our story Jesus has gone back to heaven and he told all the disciples they had to wait for the helper to come. Now the Holy Spirit didn't come maybe as the disciples expected, but he certainly came in a very dramatic way. And so we're going to watch two videos now. The first one is a Lego video, it's only about a minute long and some of you will have seen it before. The second one is then the retelling of the story of Pentecost told by some children. So this is the time that the Holy Spirit first came to the disciples and you will see how amazing and wonderful an experience it was for them. Oh, and if you were wondering about the bunting with the balloons on and the happy birthday, that's because 
Quite often churches see Pentecost as the birth of the church. That's the time that we were given the power by Jesus to go out and tell the whole world all about him. In fact, as you'll see in the story shortly, this first day when Peter was given the Holy Spirit, he spoke in a way that he hadn't before. And all the disciples were able to speak in other languages. And the result of that was that over 3,000 people came to Jesus and said, we want to follow him and we want to be baptised. And that was truly wonderful and remarkable. And from there, we see the beginnings of the early church. So that's why there was Happy Birthday Bunting in there too. But let's go and watch the video and I'll catch you afterwards. <laughs> 